What's up everybody, it's Jeff from, that's right, Team Alto. Today we're at Arcade Coffee Roasters. They're a local roaster, one of our longest customers. David here at Arcade is gonna be teaching us a little bit more about their program, how they are getting up to 90 gallons a week on their wholesale and also shop. That's that's included in that, so let's do it. David. Hello. Thank you so much. Sorry, this is gonna be difficult. Can you walk us through? Yeah, you wanna talk about okay. I need to learn how to how to do the mic it's better. Small, small it's <laughs> we're very low budget, so we keep the mic small. The question is, what is your cold brew process? Go. So first, we grind cold brew. We have different types of cold brew, single origin and blends. We grind it to different grind sizes from 11 to maybe we're going on 15. We're trying out a new process this week. And then we extract the cold brew with hot water or the grinds with hot water, bloom it. And then um, we pour about five gallons over the bloom grinds to start the cold brew process. Yeah. And so then how long after that do you harvest it? So we harvest it for about 16 to uh, 18 hours, depending on single origin or blend. I'm assuming that when you're dialing in a, a blend or a dialing in a, a single origin, you're just testing one five gallon batch and seeing what's up, or do you test smaller? We actually just do five gallons. It's really hard to uh, kind of mess up cold brew in a sense. 16 to 18 hours is pretty much a range where you kind of want to go with cold brew. Okay. Sweet, and then after that, I noticed that you you have kegs, like run us through that that part of it. Depending on if it's our, our cold brew that we use here on site, uh, we tag them that says just say arcade, or if it's our wholesale account, we just tag different labels that we that we print out onto the kegs and just send them out through the keg. Okay, mm -hmm. cool. All right, kegging it. All right, so right now I'm looking at it, rough math, you're doing 90 gallons of cold brew in one week. Is this a normal weekly run? It is. Depending on how much wholesale orders, we uh, usually do about 90 to 100 gallons every week. Okay, sweet. So that, that's a ton. That's a, that's a lot. Do you like being in charge of the cold brew? I actually really enjoy it. The first, like I was telling um, cameraman earlier. Shout out Jake. That the first week doing it, I was super sore the, the next day. Picking up five gallons of water every two minutes was was a little rough. For sure, I, I can definitely see that. I, I was watching you hustle those uh, those back and forth because you're gonna go in the back of the warehouse. With the cold brew process, you're doing 90 gallons. How come you're not doing just one big, you know, like getting your mom's bathtub and doing it all 90 gallons in there? Why, why are you not doing that? Couple reasons. One, there's single origins and blends. We're not really sure like the ratio quite yet, but we actually just talked two weeks ago. Um, our kombucha guy carries 50 gallon buckets. Mm -hmm. He has them to make kombucha and I think we're gonna just try it one time. Just with our cold brew blend. And we don't have to mess up single origin. Cold brew blend's a little cheaper to, to process. Okay, so it's so it's there's some there's some fear in, in terms of like, well if I mess up a five gallon batch, like we're only out five gallons. But if you mess up a fifty gallon 50 batch, gallon? what are you gonna do with fifty gallons of that cold brew? So that that makes sense. But with the the 50 gallon, this is just speculating, do you think that you'll still use, like what would it be, 10 bags of, of Alto for that? We will for sure probably, yeah, yeah, use 10 bags of, um of Alto bags, yeah, okay. totally. Because I'm assuming that you guys are doing five pounds of coffee per per batch. I'm just assuming that, but we you do. can tell me I'm wrong. No, no, we do, okay. we do, yeah. So it would be for sure ten bags of uh, of Alto. Here's the here's the absolute heater question. The question to end all questions: Do you actually enjoy cold brew? I love cold brew. Really? I, what's your, what's your favorite bean that you guys have right now? Demeca Becha. Sure. <laughs> to excuse you. Yeah. <laughs> it's a Ethiopia. What, what, oh, Ethiopia. Ethiopia. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, it's Ethiopia. Yeah, shout out Ethiopia. What flavor notes are we running on that? Oh, gosh. <laughs> Why are you on the spot? You're like uh, Welch's grape juice Ethiopia. with like a hint of lemon. Yeah. Uh, is it something on bar today? Can we grab that? Yeah, totally. You, you can you can grab it on bar today. Yeah, cameraman's about to splice me in grabbing a, grabbing a cold brew right now as I paid for it on Alto. Alto's paying for it, actually. Sweet. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks so much, David. I really appreciate you barging in or letting us barge in and, and get a get a snapshot of your process. Um, I, I think that a lot of people are scared of how to scale cold brew and, and you guys are doing it in a super approachable way where you're basically doing it like everyone else, but times 14. So it, it's, right. you know, and as you guys scale up to that 50 gallon thing, I think it's, I think it's really cool and it's been cool to see you guys grow. So yeah. thanks so much, David. Appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you guys for coming. Yeah.